Uh, and what we'll do is I'll show you all the things that I've got bound. So if anyone is interested, um, what we'll do is I'm going to show you all the stuff that I've got set up. So joystick stuff, settings, simbrief and navigraph, and then general settings. So uh, first things first, it took me a couple of minutes to figure out how to do this when I first got the plane. User settings, you do the drop down and you go to on your first page where it goes to networking. You want to um, you want to go down to your eCharts provider, navigraph.com and select that. Um, so if you either have aeronav.faa, which is for free US only charts, autorouter.aero, which is free European Union only and requires a free account, you got to put your stuff in there. Um, so uh, select Navigraph. It won't um, it won't do anything for you initially, but when you turn the avionics of the aircraft on, it will prompt you to log in and uh, link your account to the aero uh, for, to the plane and do that. Um, in terms of sim brief, what you want to do is uh, when you're when you jump into your sim brief, you want to go in and grab this pilot ID number here. And then you can chuck that in uh, to there, and that will uh, when you fetch the um, when you fetch the flight plan from Simbrief, it'll fetch it done. And then uh, Hoppies, if you have Hoppies, you can paste your Hoppy logon code into there, and it will it'll do that. Um, in here, uh, you can select what sim uh, what flight plan you use. I just put Simbrief in there. Uh, there's some stuff here as well, and you can turn your phone to silent mode as well. I might actually do. Yep, it did add 30 minutes. Yep. They're probably just finalizing everything before they release. Um, this I didn't change much. I don't think I changed anything. Uh, audio, I didn't change anything. Miscellaneous, I didn't change anything. Um... For my controls, uh, for my controls, I set a couple of things up. Uh, joystick, I put in your normal pitch trim controls there. Uh, roll trim left, roll trim right, pitch down, pitch up. I assigned a hat switch to autopilot uh, vertical speed down and autopilot vertical speed up. I did heading left and heading right. So I can do vertical speed there and heading left and right so I don't have to spin the knob if I'm hand flying. I can just do it on my uh, do it on my uh, joystick. Um, I've got uh, your trim left, your trim right and I got flaps up and down. Um, for this big button here I've uh, set that to this is a custom command which is auto toggle auto throttle system. This is a custom command that they have. Uh, under the CL650 uh, glare shield button, toggle auto throttle. Um, I also set to the pinky switch on the side here. I set that to be captain's control wheel uh, autopilot, a uh, captain's control wheel flight director sync. So what you can do is hold the button in, pitch for whatever pitch that you want, release the button, and it will um, hold a pitch mode. In autopilot so it's just your normal control wheel steering and it's under cont wheel zero i also did a um autopilot captain's control wheel autopilot disconnect which is a custom one as well which is under cont wheel as well zero control wheel autopilot disconnect so i did that as well um I set up a heading sync button so when you're on LNAV and you roll onto a new track you can hit heading sync and it will uh, sync your heading uh, which is under FCP uh, heading sync. Uh, so autopilot disconnect, heading sync, auto throttle, roll wheel steering and then I just got views as well there. For the throttle, 
I set up a uh, auto throttle disconnect, which is under throttle auto throttle disconnect. Uh, I set up CCP chart button. So what that does is that will tang uh, tangle, tangle, that will toggle the the chart on the right MFD to pop up. So it'll it'll toggle the chart to open or close, uh, which is under uh, CCP to chart button. I also set up a um. I uh, set up a little hat switch here on the back of the throttle for the joystick left and right, so I can pan the um, so I can pan the chart around. When I was when I had the charts up and I had that green box, I could use those to move the little green highlighted section around. So you could move the chart around while being zoomed in. Um, I set up a confirm checklist item, which was how I'm triggering the checklists, and then I've also got a skip checklist item here. So they're under um, oops. They're under the custom CL650 list and confirm checklist item. And a skip checklist item. Um, I've got the uh, thumb hat switch takeoff go around mode, which is on the throttle. Takeoff go around mode, that gives you the flight directors for Toga. Uh, I set up a, a toggle FBO services status window. So that shows you how long uh, the FBO services are going to take under FBO and debug. It just tells you how far everyone is away and what they're doing. I also set up a uh, jump pack state forward by one phase. So if you don't want to wait for the passengers to arrive or they've got like 600 minutes coming, you can go skip and it will jump forward in the, in the loading. And I also did one for the fuel as well. So refuel state forward by one phase and pack state forward by one phase. They're under FBO debug as well. Uh, then just toggle thrust reverses, uh, which is just the, uh, I think that's just the default explained binding. Uh, I don't think I put anything else on. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. That's exactly it, and I, I really like the FBO thing to be honest. I think it's um I think it's a nice touch. So what we're gonna do is actually gonna go back out to the plane, and I'm just gonna show you what all the buttons do that I've found. <sighs> Maybe it was. Okay, seventy. Thanks for the follow. Uh, is there a button you can set to transmit to X-Plane ATC? I'm not sure. I use um I use uh, Pilot Edge and Vatsim, and they have their own um they have their own uh, push to talk. Systems. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what all of those do in the plane. Lopez family too, hello. So what you can do with that is uh, let's call a GPU. And we'll power up. So toggle FBO window, that's the FBO window. It says AC GPU on. Toggle FBU win FBO window. So I could also do this, uh, call the hot start FBO. Hot start flight support, Jenny speaking. How can we help? Uh, if I request refueling, of course. I'll have you can that see at the uh, status window, two. it says 97, uh, go away love. Always a pleasure. Um, it Take says care. 90 seconds remaining. If I go uh, advanced fuel state one, it goes hooking up, advanced fuel state one, walking to cockpit, advance, and it just skips through all the, the time-based right, events. Fuel truck is hooked up. Just let me know how much fuel you need. Or would you like to go tanks full today? I don't want anything, mate. Piss off. Have a nice day. And then you can skip him, skip him, skip him, and there he goes. Um, In terms of the uh, joystick stuff, so that's the chart button. So I just hit the chart select button, and that's uh, going from checklist to chart. You can also use that little, um, those are the joystick commands there. You can actually even set a radius and thing on the uh, on the display there. So 
if you wanted to set a radius and uh, or a radial and a distance you can actually set that using that joystick if you're in the um, chart menu uh, shit if you're in the chart menu you can use that to um, that's what I was doing before to push it around and then if I zoom in I can go up down left right with the uh, that little um, joystick that I bound to my OTAS um, if we go flight directors on there's the toga button there that'll give us takeoff takeoff the auto throttle ATS disconnect uh, is on the back of the throttles here um, flaps are just flaps I've got a axis bound for the flight spoilers um, left and right heading bug if you're in a VS mode up and down VS rims up and down so you got uh, up and down trims there which actually this is built for um, shared flights so um, if one cool thing is while you're sitting on the left seat those up and down trim works on the left hand side but it's disabled on the right if you sit on the right seat it works on the right side but it's actually disabled on the left so depending on what seat you're sitting in uh, depends on what um, depends on what uh, trim system it uses um, the ATS button uh, which is this one here that's one we bugged um, the pitch command was uh, it's not going to work while we're um, on the ground but you can actually see the sync button there oh the sync light so I hold down sync and then I would pitch for whatever I wanted and then I'd release it and it would hold a pitch mode hey John Fly where's the whiskey to uh, cocktail toggle I don't know but I need a cocktail man um, thank you <laughs> thanks for coming by but I'd love a cocktail so um there you go um is there anything else um chart toggles uh here we go checklist flight compartment checklist AC so that was the next lights. checklist item it started the checklist off and then there's the skip chest skip skip skip, 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 or you can go next so you can go skip, next, skip, or next, 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 skip, next, so there you go. Um, I don't know if there's shared flight compatibility straight off the bat. Um, however, uh, they did say it was coming. So, uh, whenever that may be. Uh, for people who want to do flight plan stuff, um, to get your flight plan over the data link, you go index, root menu, flight plan recall, and if you set the if you set that stuff up before that we were talking about the networking and your pilot ID you'll be able to suck it down off the uh, interwebs. So the one that we did was Eagle to uh, ABQ. Uh, we're in the wrong position here, but we can do Ascend there. And that will uh, load the flight plan. And then you go secondary flight plan, and then that's your flight plan there, and then you can just activate it. <laughs> 